This was requested by a YouTuber on how to create smoke in the Sketchbook Autodesk program. I used the soft airbrush uh, and a dark gray uh, selection using 50% opacity, adjusting the thickness and following the same track of lines over and over, adding in some slight ones so that they connect into the wick, giving the the whiteness illusion that we're looking for. And again, thickness, uh, filling in some of the gapes, just single swipes until you're satisfied with the way the smoke is looking. Then you add a new layer, uh, make it a lighter gray, you thin out your soft airbrush, and you retrace over some of the lines. Again, if you're not happy with how the lines are looking, don't forget, mistakes are okay. You retrace over some of the lines and then you go ahead and you add some embellishments uh, where the smoke does crisscross and just until it starts looking like a representation of the solid lines of smoke that you see uh, normally when a flame is done and then as soon as you're satisfied with the way it looks if it looks too thick we need to transform it so what I did was I thinned it out and I adjusted the transform, and then I went back to the original uh, thicker layer, which is more blurred in appearance, and did the same transform, and tried to line it up the best I could, so that way it still would give the desired illusion of smoke that we were looking for. And then stretched it out, and moved everything so that would it lay over top of the wick area of the candle. Now the candle I had created on a prior piece just for this tutorial alone and then once you've gone ahead and you've got it made the way you like it uh, you go ahead and save your file and enjoy the end result smoke was actually really easy and I didn't realize how much it would be until the request came so I thank you to my youtuber for requesting this special tutorial have yourselves a good day and thanks for watching Shea Goyle Studios thank you for all your support